Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Black & Decker Power Series Extreme Cordless Stick Vacuum. It's a really inexpensive vacuum, as well as one of the best selling cordless vacuums out there, so we bought one and put it to various tests. And in this video, we'll go over both the pros and cons. Links in the description, and let's get started. Starting off with the pros, the Black & Decker Cordless Vacuum is very affordable, which is probably the main reason it's selling so well online. It's also part of Black & Decker's Power connect battery system, which means that it uses a removable battery that's interchangeable with other cleaning, lawn and garden, and power tools from Black & Decker in the same series. So if you already have other tools from the Black & Decker Power Connect system, that battery could function as a backup battery, effectively doubling your vacuum's battery life or more if it's a larger size battery. Another pro is the power. We found that the airflow at the base and at the floor head were higher than average in our tests. It also has an extremely good seal on floors. This is because its floor head is lower to the ground with less openings than normal, so there's less room for air to escape. This made it particularly good in our carpet deep clean test, where we embed sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bend before and after, where it scored much higher than average. It even scored the same as the new Dyson V12 on max power. Another pro is that it's self-standing, which is a rare find in cordless vacuums. It has LED lights on the floor head, which helps to see debris that you might have otherwise missed. It has three different power options with a button on the handle, as well as an option to turn the brush roll on or off. It comes with many different tools for above floor cleaning jobs, including a crevice tool with a flip out brush, a low profile pet accessory, and an accessory holder. It was also really good with debris pickup on the surface of carpets. It picked up everything from fine to large debris, though it did struggle a little bit with extra large debris. In general though, it was a good vacuum for carpets. The next thing isn't really a pro or a con, it's just kind of neutral, and that's the battery life. The vacuum comes with a two amp hour Black & Decker Power Connect battery, which is one of their smaller battery sizes. Even so, Black & Decker says it can get 55 minutes on low power, which is above average. We tested it on its max power and got almost 11 minutes of runtime, which is a little below average for its airflow, but still pretty good. I would recommend using it on its medium power setting for most tasks, which should give you around 20 minutes per charge. And as I said, if you have an extra Black & Decker battery, you'll have all the runtime you'll need for sure. Moving on to the cons. The suction power at the base was below average, so it wasn't as good for handheld tasks where suction is the most important. Also, the handle weight was a little heavier than average, which made above floor cleaning tasks a little more difficult, but it did not impact regular vacuuming that much. Another con is that on max power, the vacuum sort of sticks to certain rugs or is really hard to push. This is because of that low floor head I mentioned earlier. It performs well on regular carpets, which have a lot of airflow, but it may stick to certain types of rugs that don't have much breathing room underneath. It was also a little louder than average in our noise tests. One significant downside to this vacuum, though, is its performance with debris pickup on hard floors. This is, again, because of that close-to-the-ground floor head. It was able to pick up fine debris really well, but it would just push medium to extra-large debris around rather than picking it up. Another con is that it doesn't have very good filtration. But, to be fair, almost every cordless vacuum in this price range has the exact same filtration setup. In conclusion, after reviewing this information and looking at the footage again, I was actually pretty pleased with it for someone who has carpets. It has great pickup and one of the best scores on carpet deep cleaning I've seen for this price. But its floor head design is not great for hard floors, so if you have mostly hard floors, I would pass on this one. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.